this is a Chubat edition. What up guys, Disney Chubs back at it again. And today I am doing a lounge by collection update. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Okay. So I wanted to do this video. People have been asking me, hey, how's your collection? What's going on? How many bags do you have? Are they all mini backpacks? Are they all Disney? So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I have going on here and kind of more or less the way I got them. Um, so yes, this is a Lounge Fly Disney mini backpack collection video I did a first one and I will link that somewhere down below it was like a small little video with just four of them Ooh, four four of them so since the last video I have accumulated quite a few bags and this is the first one I have bought since the last video and this is the Dumbo lounge white I bought this at Hot Topic for 45 and under so 45 dollars and under it was like a sale I believe um, like a spring sale I can't remember exactly but it was like the last one in the store and I was able to get him and he's super cute um, I don't know the specific name of this I know a lot of stores aren't selling it anymore but it's like a baby blue it says Dumbo in all the little words it has his little hat it has his ears and it has all this beautiful gold embellishment on it and the only thing with this bag I will have a little bit of a complaint because it's not like one of the normal mini backpacks um, is the straps on the back so I don't know if you can see that they're like little hinges but there's nothing really besides the little hinges and this little leather, leather strap attaching it to the back so I would recommend if you do have a backpack like this or you're thinking about getting one in this type of style not to overload this back that's the only complaint I have about this it has the gold zippers and it has the big pocket in here and yes you guys I do keep my bag stuffed because I like to hold the shape of them. I know that sounds weird, but um, I don't want anything to happen to them, for them to lose their shape, anything like that. So the one thing about lounge flies is that they have the most killer, awesome, cute, thinking, out of the box type of thinking when they come to designing these. Um, and the liners of these bags. So in this one, it just has the Casey, I don't know if you can see this. It has a Casey Jr. lining with the tent and it's just kind of like a subtle yellow goldish color with like a burnt orange red color on the inside. And I just thought that was so sweet and so cute and I was just like, okay, super cute. So I rarely use this bag anymore. Um, it's just so cute and so sweet. I only use it on special occasions. Um, I don't use it as an everyday bag. I use it for like a, quite a bit, but eh, I started noticing a little bit of wear and tear on the straps so like i said that's my only complaint about this bag but it's a super cute bag definitely awesome the thing about this is that it does have a bigger front pouch so you can fit a bigger phone in here um, a battery bank anything like that so that's one thing about this style of the lounge fly mini backpack is that it does have a front pocket that's bigger than the usual ones okay so moving on the next bag i got after that one was like the bag of the year for 2019 even though it came out at the end of the year um huh. okay so one of my favorite decorations during halloween of course is mickey blinky pumpkin so they came out with this bag it sold out fast um but he's super cute and he makes me happy when i see him and look at his little face it's like a little jack-o-lantern mickey um i got this through a boutique and i got it for about 40 dollars and then like six something for shipping and handling um it was a lady she had a little boutique and she had so many that she had in her shop and she was like i'm just gonna get rid of them and i was like okay cool so i had bought it off of her and it was just quick it came to the house quick no problem but what happened was is they ended up selling out of this little dude here at the parks and I couldn't get my hands on one and that's why I started looking at boutiques and luckily I did because I lucked out and got them for way cheaper. Um, it has the black straps on here so it's like an orange plush le faux leather 
and then it has like this zipper right here underneath so like a front zipper but I don't really put a lot in here because I feel like the zipper is kind of funny on this bag so I hardly ever use the front zipper and then he has like a little pumpkin topper and his little ears and I like the fact that one ear is front and one ear is like kind of leaning back and then it just has the gold hardware on it and I decided to get not the matching keychain but I got a different keychain from a really cute little boutique to put on here so that I know that this one's mine because a lot of gal pals a lot of people are gonna have the same bag we're probably gonna end up at the same table and we're gonna take each other's bags and that's not a good idea so I got this cute little charm and it's like a little acorn color Mickey resin keychain and I got this from House of Char you can find her on Instagram she makes really cute things so thank you so much um so in here again I'm telling you lounge five throws out some bangers in here in here I like I said there's stuff in here sorry guys but in here the liner is super cute it's like a black and gray liner and it just has little Mickey pumpkins and treats and candies and it's just super cute I thought that was so cute when I opened up the bag and I was like oh my goodness that is so sweet literally um one of my favorite bags I can't wait to wear him and welcome him back to the park I hope I get to see the actual big pumpkin we'll, we'll see okay so the next bag after that is one of my all-time favorites I actually talked to the creator um, I'm not the creator I guess the designer of this pattern um, he's a really cool dude he makes really majority of these patterns on these bags and he made this pattern and once I saw it I knew I had to have it um I got this as a birthday gift I got gift cards for my birthday I am like so thankful for that um, but this was a Black Friday special so I got this for like $45 and this is an actual parks bag so like I said majority of these are from the parks I don't know if I said that before but this one's also from the parks as well as the Mickey one that I just showed um, this is the park icon bag so it has a lot of the old-school park icons on here like the ride icons and like um, you have uh, Peter Pan the castle Space Mountain Dumbo pirates as well as a few treats on here too so you have like a tricky leg a dull whip um hattie the back of the box i'm sorry the hat box ghost and you also have like the teacups a chibi mini um it's a small world TikTok on here and then it's probably easier if i just show the back because you can actually see it and it has Big Al from the Country Bears. We used to have that show a long time ago, but it's now in Florida. We don't have it anymore. It's not the Pooh ride. Um, and this one has gold hardware as well. And it just has the black straps. I recommend bags with black straps because I feel like they get less dirty <laughs> um, than like some with like the white straps or something like that. In here, people are just saying it's regular lining um i feel like they went with a dapper dan type of feel to this it has like this really pretty bluish aqua and white stripes i get like dapper dan vibes from it for whatever reason and it just has the regular big pocket and the smaller big pocket and it's super cute you can actually still get this bag on main street right now in downtown disney so i know that this bag is still available it's also still available on shop disney i've seen it there um but this is one of my all-time favorite ones i love it i use it quite a quite i've used it quite a few times but i do use this a lot but i like to switch out my bags because i don't like to put a lot of wear and tear on them um just because they're just so sweet and you don't want to like overdo it okay the next thing I have you guys is one of my favorite favorite bags and I still do have the tags on it I have not used it I don't know if I'm going to so because it's just so beautiful um so Mario and I were at oh my gosh um babe what is it called light of the season light of the season <laughs> We're D23 members. So we go to light up the season every year. We've been doing it ever since we got our D23 membership and we go every year. It's like as is tradition. And this year we got into the bed. What is it called? It's a little shop where all the cast members get to go. 
Like the members only store or something like that. Okay. Okay. So he ran ahead of me and was like, I'm going to get in the line because last year we didn't get in the line. And I was like, okay, cool. So he runs and he gets in line and I'm like, I'll meet you down there. And so I get in the line and he hands me this paper and I'm like, what's this? And he was like, this is what's going to be in here. And I was like, okay. And when I made eye contact with this bat on the paper, I fell in love. And I had to have it. So I told him, I said, I don't care. I'm going to get the bag. He was like, I know you're going to get the bag. And I was like, are you sure? He was like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm like, okay. So, of course, he got his little manly things. But my heart was set on this one. And I wish I would have got the matching pencil case. But it's okay. So here she is. It is a snow white. Because that's my girl. She's my princess. I love her. She's the first one. She done kicked it off. She gave everyone the fantasy, and we love it, and we love her for it. Anyways, this bag is very special to me because not only does it mark the end of a fun year and the first time of us, like, being able to get in that store, okay, but, you guys, this is an employee center exclusive, and it's a limited edition, a limited, sorry, a limited edition of 600. So... I was able to snag one of the 600 and I'm so happy I did and look at her she's pretty and it has the evil queen and it has her doing like the whole apple thingy and it has this one really big pocket up here and then it has, it has gold hardware it has the brown you can obviously see I have not used it quite yet it has brown straps and then on the inside are you ready for this this is what just threw me for a loop you guys okay look at this lining it is the seven dwarfs and dopey's in there and grumpy super cute okay so this lounge fly backpack is a tad bigger it's one of like the bigger um, taller ones compared to the average size regular mini lounge flies so I don't know what the dimensions are on here but it is a tad bit bigger but look how beautiful she is she's so special and this is one that I did pay full price for it was $60 which is not bad because actually some of these bags retail for higher at the actual parks so this one was 60 bucks and I was like you know what not bothered I really want her not bothered gonna do it okay so oh, I don't want to put her down but I have to the next bag I got after that, I still had some little coins left over on my gift cards and there was an end of year sale and I saw this backpack in the parks, but I was like, I'm not going to pay that much for that bag. I'm not going to do it. And so luckily I was able to get this bag for about, I want to say it was on sale for 34 something and then I got free shipping and this was from Shop Disney and I got the Mickey and Minnie holiday treat bag yes I had my eye on this I kept on seeing it all around the resort and I was like you know what I want it but I was willing to wait so they had some type of sale and they also had the Santa Mickey one, which I did not add that to my collection. So I kept on seeing this all around the park and I was just like, you know what? No, I'm gonna wait. And good thing I did because I ended up getting it on sale on Shop Disney. But, okay, you guys, how cute is this? So basically it is just like little Mickey and mini treats and gingerbreads and candy canes and all types of stuff and mallow bars and, and, and candy apples and all kinds of stuff. And then I had to add my favorite, this is, did not come with the bag. This is just a little Sven over here from Frozen 2. And I thought, oh, he's so Christmas-like. I'm gonna stick him on this bag. So I have not used this bag yet because I literally got it um, I'd have to say like a week or two weeks before Christmas so I didn't have a chance to even use it for Christmas because by the time we got here and just everything I was like okay whatever so yes it's super cute and look at the placement on this it came in the mail like that they picked it for me and the placement of like where everything is at the candy cane heart is like perfectly in the middle hello and then the two little gingerbreads Mickey and Minnie are off to the sides like perfect perfect placement I could not complain. So, 
The lining on this one, really simple, but still really cute. It just has like the castle and some snowflakes and it just says season greetings. Super cute. Look how cute that is right there. Oh my goodness, so cute. I cannot wait to use this. Like, oh, I can't wait. And this, you guys, went quick. Like I saw this on sale for like one day and then the next day, gone, sold out. But you could still probably find these like on offer up or eBay or something like that and I think people are selling them for like $90 not too sure okay the next bag I got when rise open so rise of the resistance and I had a loan um, let, me, let me explain a little detail about this before I show you guys so you're gonna say oh Reese we know you already had that bag no no I didn't um, the first one I had, which was a Star Wars one, it was a Star Wars chibi one. I had bought in that bag, and then literally a month later, this one had came out. And when I saw this one that I'm about to show you, my heart knew that was the one I really originally wanted. And I had already bought the other one. So I kind of felt bad, but um, yeah, I ended up getting this one. <laughs> I had sold the other one and went to a beautiful home and the person is very, very in love with it and they're using it. Um, so I was like, you know what, I need a new Star Wars bag. So I ended up getting this one. I know you're gonna say, <laughs> it looks exactly like the other one. Well, it kind of does. It's still the chibi look and it's still the same chibi characters, but it is a different pattern, you guys. They're smaller, they're in a swirl pattern, they put stars in there. This one I did get at the Star Trader in Tomorrowland, so it is a Disney Parks lounge why you can't find this one anywhere else, or at least that I know of. And it's super cute, and it has the Ewok on there, and it has Chewy, and it has a Stormtrooper, and it has little, it's not Baby Yoda, but it's a little Yoda. Um, Lando, I believe Luke, Leia, um, Solo, Han Solo. And Ben, what's the little green man's name? He's a Rodian. Oh, a Rodian, the one that shoots Han under the oh no, Han shoots him under the table. My bad. Anyways, this one has silver hardware on it, and it's super cute. I love it. And this one, the lining is different from the last one that I had that was similar to this bag. It just says Star Wars like in black, but it's super cute. I love it looks like that and I just this is one of my all-time favorite lounge flies I noticed that I have a tendency of using this one a lot compared to the other ones for whatever reason I just love this bag so much probably because it has like the little Ewok on it and it has little C 3PO and little R2 R2 and Ewok I think it's Wicked that's on here exactly to be exact yeah okay they're my faves Oh, his name is Greedo. Greedo the Rodian. Greedo. I want to call him Lardo, but that's okay. Anyways, so I have this, and I normally have a little miniature lightsaber on here as a keychain, but I have to take it off because when I store this bag, my cat thinks that the keychain is a toy. <laughs> okay, so super cute, right? Okay, so I'm still going, guys. Still going. Bam! This next bag, I did not get at the parks. It is a gift from my mom and dad. It is a Minnie and Mickey Surf Hawaii, no, Surf Tiki bag. And you can only find this on Amazon and eBay. Um, there was a small shop selling it, but I don't remember the name and I don't know if they are around anymore. But you can only find this on one of those plat um, platforms, what say on one of those sites. And it just looks like this. Super, super, super cute. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. And it just has the black straps and it has silver hardware. And it's so cute. I feel like this would be good for Tiki Day, Adventure Day, if I just want to do like a Adventureland Day, I guess. Or if I ever go to Hawaii. <laughs> and then in here, the lining is kind of boring, but that's okay. It just has like beige palm trees. It's kind of big. Um, it fits a lot. I think I feel like the um, Structure of this bag is a little more giving compared to the other ones because I think that the faux leather that they used is a tad bit more like softer 
which I'm okay with that because this one I use, this one I tend to stuff it more. Um, but yeah, so my mom and dad had got that for me. It just has like surfboards and palm trees and it has hibiscus on here. And Mickey and Minnie doing the hula dance. Super cute. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> they know I have a lounge fight, like addiction and bad habit and they just like feed into it. So thanks, mom and dad. Okay, the next one I have, bed. I'm currently using as my everyday bag right now, so it's a little heavy, I forgot. I saw this bag and I wanted it so bad because it just reminded me of like Mickey and Minnie nostalgia, even though it's like the newer Mickey and Minnie. But I just thought it was so cute. It has Mickey and Minnie on it. I believe that this came out like around January of this year. So the beginning of this year, but it's basically it was around for Valentine's Day. Um, it just has black strap silver hardware. Looks like this on the back. But it has them singing and dancing and kissing and cuddling and, and just, just being so cute. Um, it looks white, but it's actually like a smoky gray. And then on the inside lining of this one is super cute. It just has like a red background and then just little mini image. Okay, so it's super cute. I'm currently using this one right now. Um, and again, it has a typical side pockets. Um, but yeah, so it's so cute. I have to have it. And now I don't see this bag being sold on Shop Disney. And I don't see it the last time before Disney closed. I did not see it in the parks. So be on the lookout if you really want this one. If you see it, snag it. <laughs> bag! Okay. This is is the whew, this is like this is like I don't know how to describe it this is the piece of all pieces that just I had to have this bag I, I knew when I saw it I knew I had to have it he saw me I saw him it was love at first sight and I had to have him and here he is sorcerer Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey is one of my favorite Mickeys, okay? He's super cute and look at the detail on him. Like he has his little hat, his little ears, his little smile, his little bow. And then of course it has like the typical lounge fly plaque right there. And the hardware on here is different. Okay, so it is gold, but the zippers, this is the ink and paint or paint and ink. Ink and paint or paint and ink collection I can't remember I sometimes I'm just a weirdo and I say things backwards okay but it has these little cute paintbrush details for zippers okay and it does have a zipper in the front it's a really small zipper it's kind of a weird zipper the way they put it but I don't know if I'm gonna use that zipper because I don't know if I could fit much maybe like my pass and some lip gloss I don't know but the best thing about this bag not only is he cute and he's super adorbs but the lining on this bag you guys uh they Disney and Lounify just like sorry again stopping um outdid themselves really and it's super super cute okay here we go I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this it is like paint and it has like the three amigos it has like other characters and it's just so beautiful. I don't even think me showing you on camera is doing it justice because that's how beautiful it is. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. So that is all the bags I have in this collection. What I have bought since my last video and what I keep on collecting. I do have one in the works right now. It's literally getting made. I'm not gonna tell you because I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that one. And he's, he's super cute. So let's see if he can figure that out and see who it is. Um, so yes, I do have another one, but I don't want to give it away. <laughs> and he's super cute and he's going to be on his way soon. And I hope I can share it with you guys. Oh, exciting, exciting stuff coming along. Okay, coming along. This collection is just growing and growing. As much as my husband hates it, I love it. <sighs> okay, so... I wanted to share something with you guys really quick. I do have one, people ask like, 
hey, do you only have Disney lounge fries? Do you have other lounge fries? Do you have, you know, what do you have? And I'm like, okay, majority of mine are Disney park or Disney lounge fries. I do have one lounge fly that is not Disney. And it was a gift to me from my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law this past Christmas. And one thing about me, I love, love, love Sanrio Hello Kitty. And so, babe! So my sister-in-law knew that and she got this for me around Christmas time. So this is the only lounge fly I have that's not Disney and it's Hello Kitty. And the way that came about is one day we were talking about like, hey, what happens if we go to Universal Studios? What bag are you gonna use? And I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't think about that. And so we were just talking and she's a Harry Potter, pot, is it a Potter head? She's a Potter head. Yeah, she's a Harry, a Harry Potter person. I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm not a Harry Potter person, but I think they're called Potter heads. I don't know, I have to double check that. Um, she's a Harry Potter lover, person, collector. I don't know because I'm not a Harry Potter person. Um, and so she got a Harry Potter bag and she's like, well, I'm gonna take my Harry Potter bag. I was like, well, dang girl, cause I don't have another bag. I don't have a universal bag. So what am I gonna take? And she's like, oh no. So she remembered that and she had gotten me this one and it's super cute. It has pink straps and silver hardware. And I don't know if the lining in this one has anything. Oh, it just has pink polka dots. So it just looks like that. Super cute. Oh my goodness. I haven't used it yet because obviously I haven't gone to Universal Studios yet. I'm hoping maybe this year we get to go to Grinchmas. I don't know. Fingers crossed with everything going on. I don't know this girl. I'm just trying to stay alive. Anyways, that's it. That is all the bags for now until my little surprise one comes and I'll be sharing that with you guys. But that is my collection and majority of these I got on Shop Disney, little boutiques, um, flash sales, sales in general. Um, that's where I had got them. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'm happy to answer them all. And if you guys have a collection that you would like to share with me or just, hey girl, look what I got. Well, hey girl, look what I got. And then we can just spill some tea and it's on. Anyways, <laughs> too much. Um, let me know, what do you guys collect? What are your lounge flies? Do you even prefer a lounge fly? Anything like that, let me know. I'm just dying to hear. I wanna see everyone's collections. I wanna see what you got. Maybe it's something I might want. I don't know, maybe it's something I wish I had gotten. There's a lot of those I wish I had gotten and I didn't get them. Anyways, guys. That's it for now. Thanks for hanging in there with me and going through this long process. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on your notifications. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, Little Chubs out.